you are going to watch this video. You get to meet me, Upgrade Itis, in all my glory. So stay tuned or I'm going to crawl in your ear when you sleep. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. What's up everybody, Baird here back again with Speca Tech. Welcome to my channel. I got a very special video for you guys today. I had a once in a lifetime opportunity uh, to talk with the Upgrade Bug, AKA Upgrade Itis. So make sure you guys stick around for this video. It's gonna be one of a kind. My apologies guys for not uh, releasing a video last week. Um, I was out of town uh, for about 10 days and then when I got home, I had a water main leak. Uh, so we had to deal with that. So it just wasn't really feasible for me to do a video. So my apologies, but I'm back on track uh, to one video a week again, starting with this one. So we've all heard the term upgrade-itis or upgrade bug or getting bit by the upgrade bug. So we're all familiar with this term, but I had a unique opportunity to sit down with this nuisance and talk to my upgrade bug or my upgrade-itis and see what's been going on. So let me introduce you to my upgrade bug. Here we go, guys. Before we get going, I want to clear one thing up, meat bags. I don't bite. I crawl into your ear and I bestow my infinite wisdom in your little brains. So stop saying you got bit by the upgrade bug. Okay, so Mr. Itis. Can I call you Mr. Itis? Whatever you want. Just don't call me late for an upgrade. So I think my system is great just the way it is. I enjoy it. No need to upgrade. At least for a good while now, I'm happy. <laughs> you think this is a good system? Are you blind, deaf, and stupid? I've seen brighter stars in the sky with my eyes closed. You need more upgrades than Kim Kardashian. All right, <laughs> obviously you seem to think I, I need an upgrade, but my uh, dual TV3612 subwoofers with quad 18 inch drivers really do shake the room and give my chairs a nice kick. 18 inches, <laughs> 18 inches. Didn't your wife ever tell you that size matters? Upgrade time, chump. Well, she never has before, but now I feel subconscious. Quit looking at my little subwoofers. Besides, we've already discussed this and I won. You have a massive subwoofer coming that's clearly gonna give everybody woofer envy. So I'm gonna let you enjoy this one once it comes for at least a few days before we discuss upgrading. All right, so maybe my subwoofers don't impress you, but my Klipsch RP8000Fs on my front stage, uh, I think they perform really well for their price and they look good to boot. They sound good and they look good to boot. Did you not hear what Tommy Talks at Klipsch Hater said the other day online? They sound like a queef over a megaphone. And what's with all the gold coloring? This isn't ancient Egypt. Do I look like Cleopatra to you? Guess what? What? Shut up! Upgrade time, chump! While my tone liner amp has really great build quality and lots of inexpensive power, surely there's no need to upgrade that. Yeah, that one is okay. The VU meter is pretty cool. Really? Shut up! Of course not! It's trash! It's not worth the earwax I'm sitting on! Upgrade time, chump! Okay, I really like my Valencia Pisa chairs. Uh, they're real leather, they're power reclining. Uh, they're really comfortable. They were exactly what I was looking for. Valencia Pisa? More like Valencia Pisa crap. Aren't you gonna say upgrade? Shut up! Upgrade time, chump! All right, I'm starting to think there's no point, but uh, I really do like my Denon AVRX 4400H. It has all the features I need, all the channels I need, um, and it even has pre-out so I can use it as a preamp. <laughs> that old thing is three generations old. When they were designing the power supply, they consulted Thomas Edison. They chiseled the manual into a stone tablet. Upgrade time, Fred Flintstone. Well, I know better than to even bring this up now, but my 75 inch Samsung QLED TV has great colors, it's crystal clear, um, and considering how far we sit away from the TV, the size is basically perfect. Have you not learned anything yet? You're slower than a sloth in a tar pit. 75 inches is big enough. Talk about micro picture. Upgrade time, chump. Well, I think I've had about enough of this. I'm gonna rinse my ears out with hand sanitizer. That sounds fun. I haven't been drunk since I crawled in David Hasselhoff's ear. I don't think my ego can handle any more of this, Mr. Itis. I need a drink. <laughs> I'm not worried. You're gonna be back in no time. You already have upgrades planned. I'll be seeing you. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, less than serious video. I just wanted to do something a little bit more fun, a little bit more funny, show uh, a little bit more of my personality in these videos because I know that uh, spec related or review videos uh, tend to come off a little bit more serious and a little bit more dry. So I just wanted to do something a little bit more fun. So if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, make sure you leave your comments down below. 
Uh, let me know if you want to see more stuff like this. And uh, for those of you that are interested in, in the uh, movie of the week, which I do for all my home theater related videos, which this kind of is, uh, just make sure you check the uh, movie of the week down in the description below. All right, guys, uh, now comes the point in the video where it does get a little bit more serious, uh, but not too serious. So the moral of the story or the moral of this video is basically just to be happy with what you have. Uh, I understand that there's always gonna be better out there. It doesn't matter how good your system is, there's always gonna be better out there. So don't let um, other people's systems or what other people say about your system get to you or make you feel like your system's in inadequate or that you just can't enjoy it because it's not uh, this person's uh, home theater or it's not this brand name or it's not this giant subwoofer or these speakers don't let that stuff get to you just enjoy your system i know it may seem a little bit backwards coming for me because i'm you know i'm releasing videos about how i'm upgrading my subwoofers um, and i have this big subwoofer coming but um, that i don't do that for anybody else but me I enjoy my system, I enjoy this hobby. I'm only doing that because I'm curious. I like to experience different subwoofers, different speakers, different uh, components. I'm just that type of person that likes to experiment and uh, witness things for myself. Um, but I'm never gonna upgrade simply because somebody said my stuff isn't as good as theirs or it's not as good as brand A or brand B. Uh, you shouldn't have Klipsch or whatever it might be. I'm never going to upgrade for that reason. Uh, so I just wanted to do this video to try to show kind of the, the dark side of home audio and home theater about uh, what people think or what people may feel about upgrades. Um, and some of the people in the groups and in the forums can make you feel like you kind of have to upgrade or that what you have is just somehow inferior and that there's just so much better out there and chances are there is better out there but that doesn't mean you can't enjoy what you have so just enjoy what you got guys sit down watch a movie enjoy the theater that you've built um, and only upgrade if it's for you if it's going to make you feel good and has nothing to do with the way other people have made you feel or uh, their systems made you feel don't upgrade for those reasons because those are bad reasons to upgrade all right guys I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you do like this content and you want me to do more like this, make sure to drop your comments below. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. And as always, stay techie.